Welcome back everybody. Moving on to another question. This is going to be a word problem and we're going to be dealing with piecewise functions in it. So, an internet company charges $25 for the first 30 gigabytes used in a month after each gigabyte costs $1.75 after that 30 gigabyte usage. Part A, write a piecewise function that represents the charge according to gigabyte usage. Part B, how many gigabytes did you use if you got charged $63.50 in one month? Okay, so for now, I'm going to erase <clears throat> part B. We'll come back to that. So let's model this situation with a piecewise function. So let's introduce some variables here. So let's C equal the charge per month. And then let x equal the number of gigabytes used, right? So we're going to have some kind of function c of x. Well, for the thir first 30 gigabytes, the charge is $25. So let's show this in sort of like a timeline maybe. So from zero gigabytes to 30 gigabytes, you're getting charged what? $25, right? So we can represent that as one of the pieces in this function. So we're getting charged $25 if your usage is less than or equal to 30. Does that make sense? So if you're using 30 or less gigabytes, your charge is going to be $25. Okay, so that's one piece of the function. Now, what about if you use more than 30 gigabytes? What's going to happen in this here, in this portion? Well, if you're using more than 30 gigabytes, so let's say somewhere over here, you're still going to be charged this $25 for the first 30, right? That's like a fixed cost for that first 30. But now this portion here, let's say you use X and X is greater than 30. You're going to be charged $1.75 per extra gigabyte. But this extra gigabyte is going to be the number of gigabytes after 30 gigabytes. So you're going to be charged $1.75 for all the gigabytes after 30. Does that make sense? You wouldn't just put 1.75x here because x, let's say it's 40, right? What's happening is for these first 30, you're being charged 25, and then for these 10, you're being charged $1.75 each. And if this was just 1.75x, we would be multiplying 1.75 by 40 gigabytes when we should only be multiplying it by 10 gigabytes. So that's why we have this x minus 30 in the bracket. This question is very similar to like tax questions that we did with the tax tiered system. We always had x minus something in this bracket here. So this here, this bracket, x minus 30, represents the number of gigabytes after 30, right? So make sure you put that. A lot of students, what they'll do, they'll put 25 plus 1.75x. They won't have this x minus 30 in brackets. You have to have that because you're only getting charged $1.75 for all the gigabytes after 30, all right? So let's change this to an x. Okay, so when we um, distribute this in the brackets and we simplify it a little bit, we'll have 25. 1.75 times x gives us 1.75x. Then 1.75 times negative 30, 75% of 30 is 22.5 plus 30. That would give us 52.5, so this would be minus 52.5 here. 1.75 times negative 30 gives us negative 52.5. And then 1.75x, let's just keep by itself. And then notice how the 25 minus 
those are like terms. 25 minus 52.5, that gives us negative 27.5. So that there is the simplified function for this piece of the function. So it's going to be, you're going to be charged 1.75x minus 27.5. So that there is the amount, total amount of the charge when your gigabyte usage is over 30 in the mega. And now that we have this function for the charge, we can move to part B. How many gigabytes did you use if you were charged $63.50 in the month? So first thing to realize, if we were charged $63.50, which leg would we be using? Well, obviously we're getting charged more than $25, so we know we're gonna be using this leg. So we know that the number of gigabytes is definitely gonna be over 30, but we have to find the exact amount of gigabytes that we used. So what we do is we take our charge function, so C of X equals 1.75X minus 27.5, and we make that function equal to 63.5 and we solve for x, where x represents the number of gigabytes we use per month, which is what we are solving for in this question. So to do that, we would bring this negative 27.5 over to the left side, that would become positive 27.5, 63.5 plus 27.5, that gives us 91. This 1.75x stays on the right side, divide both sides by 1.75, and these would cancel out and we would end up getting x equals 52. So how many gigabytes did you use if you were charged $63.50? Well we used, sorry not in dollar terms, we used 52 gigabytes and we got that by making this leg of the piecewise function equal to 63.5 and we knew we we're going to use this leg because 63.5 is a higher charge than 25. So we know we went over 30 gigabytes. And in, um, to be more exact, we use 52 gigabytes. And uh, that's the answer to this question. Yo, what's up, guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully, you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also, check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.